visual representation of the beauty of Aotearoa, 12 storeys high. It's like that moment when you just look out on the sunrise or the sunset and you just, you see the birds flying on the trees, the Purtakawas, and you're just like, man, this place is beautiful. Lakin's purpose is all about turning grey walls into something beautiful, something more reflective of the city's culture. This time on a building in Grafton, right beside Starship Hospital. It's um, kind of tying in um, like Ranganui, Papatuanuku, Tangaroa and Tane Mahuta. With, um, so the place is called, uh, it, was, it was called Huia House, so I thought that's a uh, no-brainer to put in some Huias on there. And um, having the two Huias on the Purukawa tree, um, kind of like the siblings and then the um, Tui flying up. So it's um, kind of talking about creation and life and um, the beauty of New Zealand and reflecting that beauty in the streets. The inspiration for the mural came from a charity fundraiser for Mercy Hospice, the place that cared for his own father in his dying days. Since uh, the age of 18, I've been donating artworks into their paintings. And I decided to do a surprise mural auction because um, I've been a little bit built out of frustration with trying to get large scale murals done in Auckland and um, not really getting anywhere with council. So I um, got up there and spoke about it and offered to do a mural um, and offered to do the biggest one of anyone anyone in the room had, any uh, building that anyone in the room had. And um, Barfoots and Manson's got into a bidding war and um, Manson's, Ted Manson, won the mural. How much did it go for? Uh, in total for that in the plant, it was around $20, $22,000. COVID delayed the mural, but as soon as he could, he was back at it with house paint and brushes. It took 34 days to complete. So I was on three different swinging stages, so that was also um, difficult trying to like line them all up from different angles so it all uh, matches. How scary was it to be painting up so high? Yeah, um, yeah, it was um, scary at first, but it gets a lot um, easier as you go. Lakin has left his distinctive signature right across the globe, and he's often doing it for charities like Refugees as Survivors or the Breast Cancer Foundation. It was always so much more fulfilling when I could um, give back. It's kind of like it's the whole idea of doing paintings and getting money for it, and it's like this luxury item. You don't really feel like it's nice, like everyone likes to get paid, but then when you actually feel like you're making a difference as well as the visual difference to the city, it's just like a double hit. The idea, uh, especially with the Mercy Hospice, I was talking about how artwork can be um, kind of serving for people um, in pain rather looking out over a grey city. You can look out and see some... Um, some artwork to blow up the city. Um, and so the idea was to paint it so the staff and um, patients of the hospital could look out and see the painting. During his travels, he's seen how murals have transformed cities, how they bring their own vibe. He's determined to do the same thing for Auckland. He wants Tamaki Makoto transformed into an art gallery. You know, like, yes, there's great artwork in museums, but how incredible it would be when you walk down the streets and rather than advertising, you just see beautiful artwork everywhere and big scale ones. So that's been the frustrating thing is that there's not many of the larger scale projects in New Zealand. Auckland Council spends around $4 million each year removing graffiti. But Lakin is urging the council to approach things differently. Instead of penalising graffiti artists, why not train them to create murals instead? You find all these different things that I've applied for, all the people who are in control of budgeting have never made public artwork, so they don't know how to do it. And it's like, well, you've got the resources of, you know, I'm one, there's multiple other artists, you know, that can, can put it down into a system where it can actually happen. <laughs>